Now we're continuing our Art on Now series for the month of May and joining me this morning are two artists whose work can be seen on set. And so join me, we have Miss, joining me in fact, we have Vritti Ramnarine and Stephen Haynes and we welcome them and their art pieces to the Now Morning Show. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning and thanks. Yes, You're thank welcome. you very much. Vritti is smiling already so I'll come to you first. Vritti, how are you this morning? I'm good, nervous but excited. Ah, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. Vritti, I'm looking at your work and it is truly amazing. No, 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 don't, don't around because yeah. I want you to <laughs> stay with me yeah. but first of all tell us about the art pieces and what type of art is it is it canvas is it oil what sort of art do you use um well right now I haven't really figured myself out in terms of medium wise so I'm still experimenting with really different yes. art forms and sculpting and stuff but this one is one of my acrylic paintings acrylic yes okay nice this is on canvas and this one is so faster so faster on mixed media paper right. black mixed media Interesting. Yeah. Now, the one that you pointed to with the mixed media is yeah. very, very interesting. Where did the inspiration for that come from? I mean, what are you trying to say with that piece? Could I ask you to tell me what you think of it? Oh, wow, you're putting me on the spot. Let me put on my artist hat, my art entrepreneur hat. It's fine. Oh. Nothing is wrong in that. <laughs> For me, I'm seeing, I feel like I'm seeing superheroes. I'm seeing hmm. some sort of, um, with the intertwining of the, of the two or the three people. Is it people? Are they supposed to be connected yes. somehow? Is there a connection? Tell me. It is a connection. I am very sorry. But the pieces are really a kind of callback to the Paris incident. Oh, yes. yes. Tell us some more. So with the expressions that they have on their faces, you could see like the pain and anguish that they go through. So I want to use that with the colors and the kind of ropes that you're seeing is when, like these things are pulling them backwards when they're trying to get free. Right, because it's like something is sucking yes. them. Is that supposed to be the, the, the yeah. tube and the pipeline that they were sucked in? Yeah. Very interesting, Vritti. Have you, have you exhibited this before? Is this no, the first this time? is the very first So time. we are getting yes. to see this first piece, and of course all our viewers. Vritti, this is truly, truly amazing. <laughs> Why would you paint something like this? Well, at the time, this was like a couple of months after it happened, and like everything you hear was about them. And so after, like even the first time I heard about it, it hit me so much that they, these people go into these things and they need help and stuff. And so I was like, I kind of interpreted that in my own way and want to express myself because sometimes we forget about these things. I show that even though we all, it in the back of our head, because we have all these things that we want to put first, but then this like right there, and we need to we need to pay attention to these things. Yes, because the case I believe is still going on right now, and they haven't come to a conclusion yet. Yeah. Well, they have. Well, they're working on the report yes, they now. Are working um, on, so we so. will we'll, we'll see what's going yeah. on with that. But I want to pause it here, and I want to bring yes. Stephen in. <laughs> Stephen, I know that while Vritti may be looking for the connection, yours are a bit more uplifting. I love these two ladies in the back here. Tell us about this piece. This one is like there's two females. They're just in the in the middle of maternity. Yes. And it's a combination of ancient style and bringing the modern into it. Because the background is really from a inspiration from a French painter named André de Rain. Mm. He would have been around early 1900s. So yeah. that's the background, and the front is the ladies going through the daily, you know. The daily lives. Yeah. Now, I'm not sure if, we, if, if our audience at home can see the details, but for example, the lady in pink, I'm seeing a basket on her head, I'm seeing different items, scissors, that sort of thing. Yeah. Where, did you see ladies in particular that you wanted to put, or was it just your imagination putting those items into that it basket? It was some of photograph I saw online, mm. but it just, it, it threw me back to a day in Trinidad and Tobago, way back when this would have been a common sight. To see ladies walking on with the loads and the head and all that, going off to the day's work, as it may be. Yeah. And Stephen, what type of art do you do? Oil, acrylic? Acrylic. Acrylic. acrylic yeah. So both of you all do acrylic. I have to ask why. I'll come to you first, Stephen. quick drying, basically. <laughs> it's super quick drying. Yes. So you could move from one section of a painting to the next in no time. Yeah. Now, Stephen, is it that you have a military background and you just started to do art? Yeah, I, I served 27 years in the Coast Guard. Right. During that time, no painting. No painting? Yeah, None every, whatsoever? Everything was on the shelf. Everything was on the shelf. And on retirement, I said, let me get back into my first love. Because I basically could have drawn as good as I draw now yes. at age 10 years old. Ah. So, so then why did you put that on pause to go to Coast Guard? I tell myself I'm a dedicated serviceman. 
and life life got in the way. Of course, you know, life life got in the way. Yeah. But so then what made you go back into it and say, I mean, I know you mentioned retirement, mm -hmm. but what sort of drove you to be like, you know what, let me pick up these acrylics and do something? Retirement, time on your hand, because I I totally out of the rat race at age 49. Wow. I stopped work. Okay. I stopped What's your work. secret, Stephen? What, what do you mean? What's your secret for retiring so early? <laughs> Contentment with what you have. Hmm. Tell me some more. No, well, I don't see myself being too materialistic. And I'm pretty content with what I, where I'm at and what I have. Interesting. Now tell us also about, I call it the floating house. What's the name of this one? That's St. Charles at Marguerite. Yes. St. Charles at Tucker Valley. And you're, you're is this there. a picture you also saw when you decided to paint something? That is one of my favorite places on the island, Tucker Valley. Uh -huh. I used to work down in the West, so it would have been very familiar to me. Yeah. And I just decided to try and interpret it this way. It features all the colors you will see down there with the element of the church and the element of the graveyard out in front of the church. Yeah. Come in. Interesting. Fritzi, I'm coming back to you. Uh, tell us about this one with the, is that in a pond? Yeah. Okay, tell us about it. Um, well, to tell you the truth, acrylic is in like my, I now started to do acrylic. Right. Yeah, I'm more, I am more confident in my drawing pieces. So I mainly do realism right now and like some semi-abstract as you could see. Yes. But all my, pictures that I use, uh, photos that I took myself. <laughs> so this one was from Tobago. Mm. <laughs> yeah. In the, I don't know if you know, the plantation. Villa I was just place. about to say in the yeah. Magdalena Grand yeah. when you drive, yes, and go. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know exactly where it is. Interesting, yeah. very nice. I mean, Vriti, you're sitting next to Stephen, who knew he could have done art and drawn that kind of thing, but he went into something else, a different career. Do you see yourself taking that path as well, where you go into something else and maybe you pursue art sometime, you know, at a different time or as a side thing? Or how, how, how do you feel about that? Right now, I am... Um, I have a strong, strong um, feeling to pursue art as a career. Yeah. And I kind of want to keep that there because most times people get the impression that art, if you want to be an artist and you go to school to learn art, you get your degree, is a teacher you're going out to mm -hmm. be. And like that isn't always because it has curators and curators to be is like interesting. Right? So it has you curated how you could go into the museum with the history and stuff because all that falls on that. Right. So we don't have to be teachers. I mean, I guess some of them want to be teachers. I am very proud of them. But me personally, I don't think I could handle all you of You want to do something like that? <laughs> yeah. And you're currently at UWE now? Yes, I'm currently in degree course. Uh, how many more years do you have? Two more. Well, Two I'm more going years. to enter my second year. Second year, nice. Yes. I mean, Stephen, looking at Vritti, um, I mean, do you think that you may have, I don't want to use the word regret because it's such a strong word, but do you think maybe there weren't enough opportunities for you at that time to pursue art as a full-time passion, which is why you went, tell us. Nothing like that. I tend to live my life without regrets and saying that nothing's before it's time. Yeah. You know? So you definitely believe now is the time for you to be an artist? It, it just might be. <laughs> It just might be. I mean, what do you have to share with the world after all these years? There's so many other artists up and coming, like Vritti here and others. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> she, she has made me super proud this morning. Yes, tell me yes. why. Her zest. Her zest. And her, her skill level. Yeah. You know? I have a saying that art gives me life. It's when I get into the studio, double, double, and I just sit around and watch but the time will pass and I'll be in a nice state, mm -hmm. you know? Nice. That's it. And what sorts of settings you need to paint and draw Vritti? Do you need a quiet room? I mean, because we realize that you are observing what's happening, of course, with this painting, definitely. But what sort of other elements need to come together for you to create a piece? Well, one would think in a quiet room, <laughs> but I think that in my house, so I live with like, cause me, including me, like five people. Right. So, um, so I love my parents. <laughs> they, I think it's because of them I have the opportunity to get to do all this as well. Your parents. Yes, my yes. parents. Because they, they give me, they provide the space for me and everything. But I find like, yes, in some in a quiet space. But to me, I kind of like, they always pass. And they always give me their opinions every time they pass and see when I reach somewhere. Yes. So sometimes I wouldn't see or like they'll say, that looks nice. So like, you sure you want to put that? <laughs> It's so nice to hear their, their different opinions yeah. coming towards you. So I could like think about it, step back and think about it again and watch it and say, they're right, this doesn't look good and stuff like that. So, yeah. Have you ever exhibited your pieces anywhere before? 
No, this is the first time I have a well, collaboration exhibition with yeah. the other artists together with Miss Lane. Right. And the Art Society on Federation Park. All right, tell us some more, Stephen. About the art exhibition that's happening at Art Society. Yeah, they have the, what they call their May Members Exhibition. Members are invited to submit pieces, they select what they want to put forward, and they host them for just about a month. Yeah. This is so amazing. Young artists, old artists. I mean, any words of advice, Stephen, given your your 27 or over 20 years plus experience in, you know, Coast Guard and now coming to be an artist. I mean, I know earlier you mentioned contentment, yeah. but give us any other sorts of advice that you would give to um, people who know they can draw, who know they can paint, but just kind of putting it aside at the same time. Get into it. Get into it and stick with it. I mean, their part might be different to mine, but if it's a love that you have, get into it. Yeah. Even if you're not sure, you don't know, have your confidence, keep plugging, keep plugging. You'll get there. And for to you, any words of advice to young artists like yourself who are up and coming? I think if you want, you know you want to get into it, as Mr. Ian said, I agree with him. You get into it, you know what you want to do. You buy the canvas, you buy the paints, and you start it up. Well, yes, you, you buy. You start exactly. Because mm. some of us don't have the finances because canvases are expensive. Yeah. 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 So, like, for this one, I made my canvas. So I got, like, shrub on and then just bought the cloth from, from one of the cloth stores. And I used wood glue and cut it and stick it and everything. So, because yeah. so, all that happened during COVID. It, 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 it could be expensive as you want it to be. Yeah. I'm like her. I make my canvases, <laughs> I make my frames, everything. Stretch them, mong them. Save a penny that way too. Exactly. <laughs> you have some multi-talented artists sitting here, boy. <laughs> let me thank you so much for coming, Vritti. Stephen, a pleasure to have you, you this morning. Well. And let me just thank you in advance for leaving your artwork with us mm -hmm. and allowing us to enjoy it, not just us, but our viewers as well. Thank you so much and all the best in the future. Thank you for the exposure. Yes. You're welcome. <laughs> and that was, of course, Vritti Ramnarine and Stephen Haynes, two artists who will be leaving their artwork with us and will also be featured at the Art Society in a very special exhibition. You know, the Now Morning Show, we're going to Take a break and be right back. Stay with us. Just let that out. Curtains cover everything now you're trying to hide. Open them now. Just let that out. Don't wait. Come show your colors. Back where you are, show it. You are so, so, so colorful like the ocean. Oh, girl, you're colorful like the ocean 